Hey loves, what's going on? Good evening, good evening, good evening. What's it after, still afternoon? I'm sorry. <clears throat> I be forgetting the time because <laughs> I be uh on something else. So today is uh Friday, September the second, and it is 3 37 p.m. I do apologize. I actually have uploaded some messages for you guys, but it was taking so long and I caught myself trying to re-upload it. Um but I guess it wasn't meant to be. I keep seeing things about boundaries and I had shuffled the crow deck. Oh, I want to see what's going to come back out with that. And you guys having a lot of resilience. Let's see. Let's see what the weekend picks up for us. Okay. Let's see what messages you have for collective. You know what? Let's go ahead and do the elements. I'm going to go ahead and do the elements. Let's start with fire. Aries, Leo, and Sag. What could the fire signs expect this weekend, spirit? What can the fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sag, expect for the weekend? I don't know why I didn't add Friday in it because that's, to me, like, if, once everybody get off of work, that's starting the weekend, right? So... I'll try to remember to do that next time. So let's go ahead and tap in. Holy Spirit, what messages ancestors to send the messages? Archangels, angels, what message do you have for the fire signs for this weekend? September the second. The day almost over. So let's do September the third and fourth. September the third and fourth. The masters, archangels, and angels. What message do you have for them? Collect the fire signs. What can they expect? Setting up a lot of boundaries is the first thing I, I keep picking that up about boundaries. Major change and shifts. What do we have for fire signs? Ascended masters, archangels, and angels for the collective fire signs. Boundaries. Thank you. The Santa Masters do not be playing, okay, y'all? See, y'all literally do have boundaries. So somebody's birthday could be September the 2nd, could be today or September the 12th. Um, Somebody's birthday could be September the 26th, too. Um, I feel like a lot of you are going to be surrendering to spirit. Oh, what's that? And these don't need to be. Yeah, you guys haven't been self-reflection, so I feel like self-reflecting. Um, Some of you could be looking in the mirror trying to figure out what it is that you want, what it is that you're not happy with when it comes to your body, okay? Uh, so my birthday could be September the 17th, okay? And this was in reverse. A lot of self-reflection, uh, putting up a lot of boundaries. Well, the messages, dang, <laughs> so that you can go on your path. Somebody's birthday is September the 8th too. Or was August 8th? Dang, they are flying. Thank you, Ascended Masters, Archangels, and Angels. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I did he, um, see The Hunger. Somebody could be watching Hunger Games, so that's one of your favorite movies. I love it. I used to watch that. Um, I love it. I, I, I don't know. It's something about it. But somebody's birthday is the 29th also. Ascended Masters, Archangels, and Angels, what are the messages you have for the collective fire signs? Thank you. Purity. Somebody be... Um, um, maybe conditioning your hair, taking your hair down. Uh, it don't have to be necessarily weed, but I'm picking up from a uh, what do we call those? Oh, what am I trying to say? Um, it's like a protective hairstyle. So somebody could be giving themselves a deep condition. Uh, some of you could be taking spiritual baths and going to sleep. And covering your crown chakra with a white um a white cloth to cover your crown chakra gloves. I send a message to Archangels and Angels. What additional message do you have for the fire signs for Saturday and Sunday? Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Resistance. You guys got to learn to stop holding on to things that no longer serve you. Things that you know, um, yeah, a lot of you could be doing things to your body, exfoliating your skin, things of that nature. Hold on, let's see what this 
yeah, you want a lot of peace in this path. So, like, if you guys were fighting a lot of battles, having to do a lot of rituals, um, spiritual baths to cleanse your energy in regards to people always trying to come at you, a lot of you just surrendering, like, you know what, I'm going to let the Holy Spirit or your ancestors take care of it because I see peace within your path. Peace and dealing with a lot of resistance of energy, but you're just surrendering. You're surrendering because you're tired of all the nonsense that come along with going along this journey. A lot of things, you guys could be working on some things too. Okay. Especially if I keep picking up something about spiritual battles. Yeah. Having a lot of patience. Knowing that you don't have to be resistant and, and um, trying to block things and people or situation, or it could be uh, one of those opportunities that's coming towards you guys, and you no longer are trying to block that, okay, you're surrendering to, it can be the uh, ascended masters, the archangels, the angels, the holy spirit, your ancestors, they want you to allow them to take over, and to allow them to open up doors for you, I keep picking up something about a door, yeah, so that you can go along this path, some of you feeling like you always have to go to the extremes or you have to be hungry. You know, if you don't have that hunger in you, how can you manifest anything into your um into your energy? Okay. A lot of things will blossom if you just surrender and stop being so resistant to what your path has in store for you. Okay. There's a lot of blossom, a lot of um good things I feel that's going to um, manifest for you guys. And I really strongly keep picking up something about spiritual baths. Like if you guys really need to do those, y'all need to do them. Oh, wait, it's one that's flipped over and I didn't see it. I apologize. Yeah, some things that you could be realizing. Some of you could be getting a key to a new home, a new house, a new apartment, a condo, or a new storefront. Something you could have bought or purchased, purchased, purchased something or renting something. I feel like um, you're going to be, oh, it could be a car too. could be a car, a vehicle. But I feel like you're getting a key. Something is being open for you guys. Something in three days. Let's see, the B was at the bottom. What other messages do you have? Ascended Masters, Archangels, and Angels. For the collective fire sign, Aries, Leo, and Sash for this weekend. September the 3rd and September the 4th. Of 2022 knows itching already what kind of fire signs aries leo or sag expect for september the third and the fourth of 2022 what messages do you have what can they expect for this weekend ascended masters park angels and angels thank you so much guys if you guys moved around your apartment home house or wherever you at it could be um a place of business make certain um because i'm picking up something because i just happened to go past in my living room area and i noticed um my ring right and i immediately sorry y'all had to sip on some tea i immediately picked up somebody's unplugging it if it's not you it's somebody else that's unplugging your devices your surveillance system. You need to double check and make sure they're all connected, okay? I'm um, just keep picking up something. It may not be you, it may be somebody else, and they think you're not paying attention. Or a spirit is gonna guide you to go over there and check. Okay, what we got? Let's see, what do we have for the collective fire signs this weekend? What can they expect this weekend? Please and thank you. Whoa, okay. What the heck? Three, oh, heartbreak loves. Oh. So, wow, I see you're going to be disappointed in a situation. Could be a heartbreak. I see the eight. Uh -huh, for, um, oh, wow. Okay, so hold on, loves. Let me get a noise. Where did it go? I hope one did not fly up under there, I swear. <laughs> wow. Honestly, you guys, what I'm picking up, I feel like spirit is trying to 
um get you guys to act, like go on hermit mode that's the energy that i'm picking up so that you guys can actually start doing some self-reflection and loving on yourself because they feel as though you're not doing that you be so focused on helping everybody else and not tending to yourselves and you need to do that you need to be strong and resilient okay i honestly feel that you need to start loving yourself some of you could be cutting people off, you know, shutting your phone down. Maybe you texting the most important people and letting them know, look, I'm going to be shutting my phone off um, in case, um, you know, in case anyone's trying to contact me so people don't worry. But you need to shut people out right now. You just want to self-reflect. Some of you could be going on a long drive or going to, um, if you have like, um, what do they call them? Um, another place that you can drive to like a cabin or you guys going on some type of camp cabin uh like a you know how they say a vacation but this is going to be more like a a self-cation <laughs> you know something for yourself okay yeah i feel like spirit is guiding you to do this now you could be going with somebody too and you're just not telling anybody i don't really think that's good when you don't tell somebody where you're going you don't necessarily have to say who you're going with you can say you're going with somebody but you don't have to say who it is if you're trying to keep that a secret especially if those of you who um are reconciling with twins or soulmates or anything of that nature okay but i really am picking up people need to start or you may be oh wow or if you guys supposed to be going on some type of vacation with someone someone's gonna uh, renege on the the agreement that you guys were supposed to do and they're not going to attend so you may be going alone i'm picking it up i'll keep picking up some because we do have it um the chariot here this is something hold on this person I would be careful because I keep picking up maybe this person is trying to see if you're going to take somebody else. So they may just pop up. If this is someone who's literally going to a location, to a cabin. I feel like this person is going to be deceitful because I'm picking up some type of just a slight bit of deceitful energy. Saying they're doing something, but they're actually doing the opposite. You may start seeing crows. Yeah, he got a hermit card to confirm that. But I feel like you, like it could be with a Cancerian, Capricorn, Virgo, or other um uh water signs like uh was it Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio? I feel like whoever this person is, it could be this Virgo. You and this Cancer, there's okay. So it could be a Cancer that you're moving towards, or somebody that you're thinking about, or somebody literally is obsessive with someone or someone's obsessive with you could be a virgo and somebody from your past like you i just feel like somebody's going to find out that somebody wasn't very honest about something give me more about this chariot and this devil oh knight of wands yeah so if this person is a type that's always coming in and out your life this could be somebody very well known because i did see the star card Okay, I wouldn't even sweat it if you decide to go by yourself. Go, go and enjoy yourself. I feel like this person may think that you're messing around on them with another fellow water sign or a fellow. Yeah, with a fellow with a water sign or a fellow fire sign. Maybe this person couldn't actually come up with the money. Maybe you put the money down for it and they don't feel right. Or this could be you. Why did I have to go all the way under there? <laughs> I tell you. Hold on, guys. <laughs> Went under my desk trying to get the slide the other way. Come on, baby. Ugh. Yeah, I don't think, because I got the five of pentacles here. This person probably didn't have the finances. They're probably embarrassed. I just feel like maybe a, an emergency emergency came up and they didn't have the funds for it. And they're embarrassed by it.
<laughs> Excuse me, loves. Mm. Could be an Aries. Or someone could be inviting you to go out to a cabin. Yeah, this somebody's gonna be watching somebody because we have we do have a page of swords here. Um, could be somebody trying to get some information about you. Could be also watching your um, posts on social media platforms, seeing what you're saying and what you're not saying, looking at your pictures, trying to see what you're doing. What are the messages? Let's see the message archangels and angels, ancestors for the fire signs for this weekend. <laughs> Yeah, this for somebody. Wait, what did I was like? I know I say something. <laughs> Three of Wands. And it's right by this Four of Cups. Whatever is supposed to be like, say you were guided or you and this person were supposed to go on this, this trip, right? This little vacation. Or just for yourself, for them, for some of you by yourself. I just feel like you, you may be disappointed. Either because that that other individual is not coming, or this person, like you felt like they could have told you if it was regarding finances and they wasn't able to do their part. I don't know. It's something about either somebody's going to go to jail, or somebody having second thoughts. Well, this can be you. Like, should I go? Somebody could be too attached, too obsessive, too controlling always trying to pull you everywhere or feeling like wherever you go they have to go you know sometimes we have to have a breather y'all too we don't have to go every single way our partners go because i like my space i don't like i don't mind being if i'm in a relationship with somebody i don't mind doing things with them but i want them to be able to have fun with their friends and not feeling as though i have to be with her all the time you know but, you know, some people like that. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra. Okay. I see the justice card there. Two of swords. Yeah. Also, yeah, because I feel like this person had to make a decision. Something could have came up at the last minute. And this person had to make a decision of, okay, shit, I'm I, I supposed to be going on this this vacation to the cabin or wherever you guys decided that you wanted to go together and this person had to play um pay their part because you guys were going to go in on it together but i feel like this person was not able to do that because there was some type of emergency is the energy that i'm picking up i feel like this person is very upset and disappointed because they really wanted to go yeah they because they feel as though it would be a burden if you end up having to pay for it yourself and then they attend they don't feel like it's right to do that I'm also picking up something about somebody had to bail out their ex-wife or ex-husband or a family member who was in jail. Got pulled over or something like that. Could have had weed in a car. Something they weren't supposed to. Expired license. Forgot to update their um their plates. The plate sticker or a city sticker. Somebody could have had a warrant out for their arrest. They go to they go to justice card. So, yeah, so somebody probably got to get bond out, you guys, this weekend. And they had to use that money to get them out. This could be an ex-love interest. I feel like this person, like, possibly could have been wanting to ask you to be in a relationship, a committed relationship with them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> See, they got an uh, Ace of Cups there. Wow. And I know I've seen a Knight, uh, a Page of Cups here. I feel like this person was trying to feel you out if you were ready for that. Maybe because y'all just met each other. Fire signs. That's beautiful. Aries, Leo, Sag. Just send the master archangels and angels. Ancestors. What are the... Dang. Okay. Mm. I hope you don't walk away from this person. Um... I feel like they may think that you're going to do that because you probably thought that they was playing with you and that they never were going to go, but they were. I just feel like there was something unexpected. And they may, they may be the breadwinner when it comes to their friends or family or somebody that they were still close to that they could, could have been in a relationship with, but they're just friends. So just to let you know, if one of you guys get confirmation about this um, message and they honestly come correct and tell you the truth, 
um, I really feel it's an ex love interest or somebody they used to be married to, or they were going through a divorce, but um, divorce is not finalized just yet. But it will be finalized for those of you who deal with somebody you know they're married. I'm not here to judge. <laughs> I feel like they may want to try to reschedule that way they have their part of the money but I think it's already booked and you guys didn't put an insurance on it so I feel like you're going to end up going yeah I don't think this person's going to be able to show up yeah they had to help somebody they had to, somebody had to bond somebody out somebody's going to get have to get bonded out this weekend I wouldn't be surprised if it's Saturday and you were supposed to go somewhere else. They're stuck because they don't have anybody else that, that can help them. Because everybody could have spent their last or what they had with their paychecks and only have so much. And they know that when you buy people out, it's going to be a minute before you get your money back. So the other people couldn't help them. Okay, yeah. I feel like somebody's in jail and they're just sitting there pondering like, I really don't want to um, bother this person. Because whoever this person is, they know about you. They respect you. They respect the relationship. They don't mean no harm, but they don't want to be in jail over the weekend and they really need this person's help whoever your love is just they need their help and that's all it is because they can't de depend on no other family member but i do feel that this person's going to give them their money back and apologize to you and tell you what happened to yeah this is somebody they was married to or in some type of commitment with i feel like this person though whoever you guys were going on some type of um vacation with this person's going to surprise you with flowers gifts um, but they just felt um, not necessarily obligated, but they know that this person would do it for them if they needed them to. Like this person has never stabbed them in the back. No matter how much they've been through, they remain friends. This person, and I, and I have to emphasize, this person does respect you and that person's relationship. And they, this person actually confided in them and said, look, I want to marry this person. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. And this person was coming to me down like, don't worry about it. I can tell this person to love you. If you want to commit to them, commit to them. This person seems uh, really good. Uh, how should I say? It? It's a good partner or a good uh, significant other for you. They will make a great wife or a husband or whatever. You see, ten of cups. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Somebody's dealing with somebody's married, but they they're gonna be, get a divorce. So just to ease your mind, there. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, this person wants everything with you. Seven of Wands. They are very protective. I feel like this person, whoever this person they bond out is very protective of them, but that is not in a sexual way or wanting to reconcile with them or anything like that. They just know that they're very sweet, kind hearted person. They just don't want anybody to use them, but I'm not getting that energy from you or them. Now, somebody could have blocked someone. I don't know if this is you that's blocking them because you think they're lying and they like stiffed you or something like that. That's not the case, love. So I hope this message gets to you. <laughs> Or you can actually just reschedule if you tell them what happened or emergency came and you guys are not wanting your money back. You just want to reschedule. Yeah, that's what I would do. See, they know that you're all about your money. You're always helping people. But I just feel like this person, yeah. Also, somebody's going to step in something in a store or... Um, if you guys are going along those long paths that go into the uh, like lakes or something like that, I forgot what, like a boardwalk or something, I would be careful. I don't think those uh, barriers are very strong, so I would say from over there, not to get too close. I feel like there's going to be some type of physical altercation. I see the five of wands, some type of competitive energy in regards to people, you know, staying to themselves, leveling up. Somebody who could have bought them a home, that's a home I'm picking up too, or you know, like I said it before, somebody just purchased a storefront or you're getting the keys to it and nobody knew about it. Uh oh, thank you. Yeah, so yeah, that's going to be some type of tire moment. Hmm. I see all the elements here because many of you could be dealing with a fellow fire signs, earth, air, and water. Somebody's going to be disappointed because they end up a family member or a friend or ex-lover, ex-wife, soon to be ex-wife or ex, soon to be ex-husband, um, honestly gets locked up. Something that was so mediocre, you guys, like seriously. <laughs> and this person feel bad, you know? It's like, what am I gonna do? Oh, dang, they just threw them suckers out. Could be a Geminian. Yeah, it's an ex-lover. 
this ex lover really just needed their their help but they're just cool they're just friends so there's nothing else going on i feel you feel this you know this too someone could possibly hold on y'all could possibly find out that they're pregnant or yeah because somebody's building an empire could be a, a beauty spa because i keep seeing the beauty and i see the empress here and i see it again look at that somebody's building a beauty spa something yeah you created us <laughs> and you're using your own natural herbs in your in your um this is something you created and you stay focused on like a lot of people didn't see you okay loves yeah somebody um oh got the keys oh yes honey look don't worry everything's gonna be fine just reschedule you guys gonna be fine and to the person that got the keys to the storefront um i feel like you're gonna put your line you gonna uh, put your line on um start showing things doing videos on youtube um you're gonna get enough money to buy your huge warehouse and make a lot of money honey see yeah you're gonna attract a lot of wealth just because of your actions and your belief in yourself you had that hunger. Yeah, this is new beginnings for you. I told you. Yes. Congratulations, sweetheart. Yeah. You had a lot of hunger in you. Like, you knew. Look, I know my shit work. I got this shit. You're attracting a lot of wealth and foundation and a lot of clientele, honey. Whoa. Gratitude. You showing gratitude to your ancestors, to Holy Spirit. Thank you so much, Holy Spirit, for helping this person. Push this person, believing in this person. Much love and prosperity to you, sweetheart. Yeah. So I feel like you guys, if you need to help you, um, somebody did step in and help you. But many of you, the engine I'm picking up, somebody did this on their own, like literally hustled. I don't care if you was doing Uber, uh, they got this thing like with go pups. Um, uh, what's that other one? Uber lift, like you was doing the damn thing. Some of you need to be in your discernment, yeah. The number 10 can mean something to somebody. 32, 15, 44, 14, 5, 5. I see a lot of five. Fives here. 11s, 44, 8. Yeah, you stay focused. Like you, when I say you was in your discernment, huh? Sugar booger. You was in your discernment. It was like tunnel vision, straight up tunnel vision. And you was not thinking about nothing nobody said. You stayed off to yourself. If you was working, you worked. You came home and you was implementing all your ideas, all your creative ideas, writing everything down. You knew not to write in your phone for some reason. I don't know if you thought somebody was trying to steal your ideas or whatever. I have no idea, but I'm picking that up for someone. Okay. I told you. This is the third time. Third or fourth time. I seen beauty. I'm telling you, you got, it's, it's like a new beginning for you. I'm also picking up something about hair. So you may start doing a hairline as well. Now you, you're ready to release. You need to give yourself a nice bath, honey. Nice bubble bath and sipping on some wine. If you're a drinker, balance. Yes, you're balancing yourself. Everything is coming out beautifully for you. Congratulations, love bud. Major change. Yes. From the darkness to the light, loves. Give me more. Send the magic archangels and angels and ancestors. Give me more for the fire signs. Let's get this last message for the fire signs, please. Last. Whoop, sorry, loves. The last message. Oh, okay. Have will. Ah, y'all heard that? <laughs> Yes, the number 13 or the number four. I see 444 or 4440. 44, 44, 44, yeah. Because this is the four here. Got 44 here and 40. So 44, 44. Wow, loves. Fire signs is all that I have you for you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Be greatly appreciated. Love you guys till next time. Later.